Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you this four-wheel combination padlock from Master. It was sent to me by No Trick Pony Lock Picking and he decoded it in one of his videos. He mentioned that it gives strange feedback and uh, this made me very curious. I asked him whether um, we could trade it for something and he was so kind to send it to me. So Ulrich, thank you very much for this lock. Was a uh, yeah, was actually a challenge for me um, to get it mastered, the master lock. So before I show you the details of my method, um, I want to uh, show you these these locks that I've already decoded. They fall into two groups. The left hand side type are locks with only true gates. So for example, the red um, Avus I decoded in video 101 and the basic um, um, method is to pull the shackle and uh, pull the shackle, turn the wheels, search for the binding wheel, the one that um, turns the hardest and yeah, try every, every number and when you get the right number it stucks or the shackle comes out a little bit and so you continue until it's open. Um, here I have one with uh, also false gates. Um, the method is different. You pull the shackle when all are in a true or a false gate and you test every wheel and the one that uh, is bound the most, so which is currently um, um, connected to the uh, bolts of the shackle, that one that binds the most, um, has to be turned to the next gate or true or false gate and so you continue with every wheel until it's open. I have shown this in my video 115. So get away with that. So this lock is, is different. Um, I think it has no false gates but yeah it behaves uh, very strange. So let me prepare my environment and then I will show you how I decode it. So my setup is ready. I have something to cover the lock when I shuffle the wheels to change the combination. But before I want to show you that it has actually no false gates. So currently all zero is the right combination and I close it and turn it to nine. When I now pull on the shackle I can feel resistance for every position the same uh, amount of resistance until I turn it all the way around and come back to 9. So, I would say it has no false gates, but nonetheless it uh, picks uh, very strange or decodes very strange. So, I push it down at 90 degree, uh, cover the lock and shuffle the wheels. Now I make sure that every wheel is at exactly one position release the shackle, turn it and close the lock and shuffle the wheels again. It's locked up and I will just make sure that 0, zero, zero is not the right combination anymore. You can see it's locked up. Alright, um, what you have to do in order to get this lock open is uh, pull the shackle and turn the wheels on in a way that you search uh, for a wheel that gives feedback. So this one does not give feedback, so it turns all the way around without any change of resistance. Uh, here I feel resistance and I try to feel where the wheel stops because of the resistance and I turn it back. And these two endpoints I try to memorize and choose something in the middle. So just like in the area where it turns free, I choose the, the center and that's what I do with every wheel and it's a little bit of guesswork, not an exact sign, so to speak but when you make this uh, more often, so when you do some more paths or paths, then you're getting closer so number one is not really 
um, giving nice feedback, so I just leave it somewhere. Go back to the last one, turn it, and yeah, here it stops, and uh, maybe here, not really sure. So stop and stop. Show something in the middle. Sometimes you need to release the tension on the shackle so that you can start moving a wheel. And for number one I'm never sure where it, where it wants to be. So number two stops here and stops there. I choose something in the middle. Stops here, stops there. And it's open. So, uh, as I said, it's not an exact science. You have to guess um, and have to make multiple uh, runs through the wheels, but uh, sooner or later it will open for you. And I tried many other methods, so just pulling on the shackle, turning one wheel, and feeling if it uh, makes a click or um, gives feedback on the shackle so that it comes out a little bit or that the wheel suddenly stucks but doesn't work on this lock. I also tried uh, pulling the shackle and uh, trying to see which wheel uh, moves a little bit and then turn it to yeah to make it free so that the shackle or the, the little uh, bolt on the shackle doesn't uh, interact with the wheel anymore but also this does not work. So I really have to have tried a lot of things but actually only this um, try and error and and uh, the feeling and the yeah this uh, finding of the free area with the two stop points uh, actually turned out to be a working method yeah if anyone knows um, how this lock looks inside um, would really appreciate to see some pictures um, I could cut this lock uh, in a destructive manner, but I don't. I don't want to destroy it. But I'm really curious to to see um, or to understand how it internally works. All right. So Ulrich, thank you very much for this uh, great uh, decoding experience. And everybody else, thanks for watching and happy picking and decoding. Bye bye.